What's up guys? We were driving back from the Outer Banks and we just happened to be cruising by Hall Ford and they actually have a Bronco Outer Banks just like the one that we had ordered. A little bit different color but pretty much the same option so we actually are going to get to look at this. This is going to be my wife and kids first time checking out the new Bronco. This is my wife's first time sitting in the new Bronco. We just were driving by, coming back from the Outer Banks. We just happened to see an Outer Banks Bronco at Hall Ford. So this is the first time the kids are seeing it. It's the first time my wife's seeing it. What do you guys think of this car? I like it. You like it? Yeah. It's got a lot of room back here, right? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think? You can take the roof off? Make yeah, it into a convertible? Daddy, yeah, there's a spare tire. What do you think, babe? A little bit smaller than I thought. Yeah. There's a spare That's what she said. <laughs> there's another tire. So this is the Outer Banks version, just like the one we had ordered. I'm going to step foot with Mommy. You want to step foot with Mommy? Yeah. Well, mommy's not in here anymore. What do you think, Pickle? I like it. You cannot turn around and sit on your butt. Oh, it's going to be funny. Oh, open the back. Jeep, it like picks up, but it doesn't look like it does. I don't know. I like the tail lights. I like the tire. You like that big tire? This is what I look like. Dad. Yeah, just a different color. What color? Ours is like a greenish gray color. So, will this replace this? 16 Sienna. That is the question. Would they bring this away? Yeah, we would trade the van in on this new car. What do you think? Yeah! <laughs> you like this one better? Yeah! Do you? What do you think, Kay? I like it. You like it better than a minivan? Huh? Kinda. Kinda? And they did the spare tire. Yeah, we got a spare tire. And if that other one was out of van. Yeah. I can't put one more down there because go behind the door. Daddy, Daddy, like we can do this. If, if our tire was down there, we could just go back here and get this tire. Yeah, if we get a flat, we'll just put that on there, huh? Yeah, and then we could just keep that tire and go to the airport. Whoa, well, he's rocking out in there. Mommy! <laughs> then we go see it from this side. You're rocking out in here, babe. <laughs> this is awesome! I mean, you look pretty hot in there, just saying. This is awesome! We don't have the key, key, huh? You can't. Yeah. Alright, I think we've wasted enough of his time. Hey, Daddy. What do you think, Daddy? Can I get in this side and see what it looks like? Huh? Got some running boards on there for you. That's good. Running board? What does that mean? I'll show you. Ah, oh, pretty cool.
right now we're in the driver's seat. We don't have the key. He did remote start it from inside the dealership, so we'll just do a quick pan of the interior. I mean, I think it's pretty cool, but it's good to determine, you know, what my wife thinks or what she wants to do. But, you know, I know people are flipping these already for a lot of money, so I might just buy and flip it. Who knows? But mine, unfortunately, is still out here. No delivery date in sight. Here's a look at the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine, the same engine we have on order as well. So three and a half hours later, we're back home, we're in the driveway. We had ample time to talk about the Bronco. Now we've been talking about this for almost a year now because we placed an order, I think, in July of last year and it's been taking forever. So this was the first time my wife actually got to see one in person and she really liked it. But of course, we're going to have to drive it to see if she likes it after that. So we've been talking. We love the minivan, it's super versatile, but uh, she's just kind of over the minivan. She wants something more fun. So she thought the Bronco, you know, with the roof coming off, would just be a more fun vehicle to drive. Um, but if we don't get the Bronco, we're curious to see what you guys would think would be a fun, fun family friendly car. Now, if we don't trade the Sienna in, we still have the Tundra. It's a lease, but I already have a ton of equity in it. Now, my original plan was to trade this in on the 2022 as soon as it comes out, possibly in October or November, but we could potentially trade the Tundra in on the Bronco and keep the minivan for family use. So I wanna know what you guys think about that. Or if you have some other options you'd like to see on the channel that would be family friendly, please let us know. Now I'm also doing a subscriber giveaway. I'm gonna to cut to that here in a second to give you all the details. But when we pulled in the driveway, oddly enough, I got this Bronco package. Now I haven't opened it yet, so I'm curious if this has the details uh, or the availability of when my Bronco will come. So let's see what this has. I'm just gonna lay this down on the ground here. Oh. Dear Bronco owner, the further off road you get, the less talk you're likely to hear. In that spirit, we'll keep it short and sweet. Thank you for knowing that despite the weight, the trails are ahead for all of us. Thank you for being a member of the Bronco family and thank you for your loyalty to the Bronco and the wild that awaits. Included here is a limited edition poster that offers a glimpse into the work the guy of the design team from early concepts to final sketch design sketches. There's an untamed beast in, in it as I can't read. There's an untamed beast on it, its way and we're looking forward to making the introduction. The entire Bronco team. Well that is not at all what I expected. I was hoping they would have a VIN or a build date or something but no we got this um, cardboard poster. Sweet. Oh maybe a sticker. Those are pretty lame. All right, so yeah, wah wah. So we still don't have any, time, any idea when the Bronco's coming. The one we looked at today was a mannequin, can't be driven, can't be sold for six months. I think most dealers are supposed to get one of these just for promotional purposes so people can come in and see the Bronco, but I don't even know why they're doing that because they can't even build the ones that are ordered. So there's no really point in looking at them because you can't have them. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Uh, I was hoping for more excitement from this package and, you know, to show you my Bronco, but that's that's where we're at. We still don't have a build date, uh, so we have no timeline whatsoever for my Bronco. I know that other people are getting them, and that frustrates me because I wanted to be one of the first YouTubers with this content on the Bronco, and now I have no idea when it's coming. So, you guys are just going to have to be patient with me. The Bronco's coming. It's going to be awesome. I just don't know when. All right, guys, it's giveaway time. Now, I'm going to get a little ambitious. This is a subscriber giveaway. I'm at 17,600 subscribers. I want to get to 25,000 to give this away. So this is what you're going to get. It's awesome AFE tactical backpack with a power pack. It powers the backpack. The backpack actually has a USB and a oxygen cord in it, and this powers the backpack so you can charge your phone while it's in the backpack. Super awesome. Next, we're going to give away the topped on code reader i did a review of this in one of my videos i'll post that in the comments uh, as awesome code reader color graph does all kind of stuff you'll be able to scan and diagnose your own check engine lights third we have this autowitz super cap 2 
jump pack. I also reviewed this in one of my videos. It's an awesome product. It's a jump box, but with a super capacitor, it basically takes the smallest amount of juice from your dead battery, recirculates it, amplifies it, and then it's able to start your car with the juice that was already in your battery. So like I said, 25,000 subscriber giveaway. Now I have had issues trying to do giveaways on YouTube. I can't get a hold of the winters. Winners, sorry. So I'm gonna need you to follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm going to announce the winner. And I'll be able to contact you through DM on Instagram. So if you wanna just follow me the day of and then unfollow me, that's great. I want you all to have the option to win this awesome prize pack. It's gonna be sweet. Uh, so I'm really excited about this giveaway, 25,000 subscribers. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook and have a great day.